Sophia here from my great challenge welcome back to my channel this is my second wellness check-in I am using the clever fox planner to do my November wellness challenge I'm still using the planner I'm using it every day I'm still doing a no carb no sugar I think I did really really good this week um, I have no sugar and no carb except again the carbs that are in the um, yogurt. So what's the point of the wellness challenge if you are just joining me today and all of the other participants? There's a playlist down below if you want to check um, their updates on their wellness challenge. Um, I wanted to spend the month of November focusing on my health and my overall wellness. So the health of course included um, doctor's appointments and whatnot. So the week that just passed, I had my blood test done. I'm going to my PCP on Thursday or maybe Wednesday. That's why it's on two different days. Um, they're waiting to see when is um, availability because I ask for Thursday and I'm off Thursday. And I'm trying to really, really get it on Thursday. So we'll find out. Um, so I got the blood test done. I got the uh, um, doctor's appointment taken care of. I went for my mammo and I got the results. They were normal. So yay. Um, and what else? Uh, I'm probably gonna get a referral to a nutritionist. I'm playing with my dog. Um, I'm gonna get a referral for a nutritionist and an endocrinologist once I get to see my PCP. So I'm really spending the month of November focusing on my health and making sure that I get everything in order and start from a good base, basically. So that's the health part. Um, so also included in the health part, I am trying to lose weight. My goal for the month of November is to lose five pounds and I am doing a very, very limited to no carb um, half lifestyle, I would say, not diet, lifestyle and uh, no sugar. So um, just to let you know, again, I had zero carb and zero sugar this week. Um, no cookies, no bread, no pasta, no rice. <laughs> and, uh, what else? I had no fruit except raspberries um, because they're very low in sugar. What else did I have? Um, that's it, I focused on protein and veggies. Um, so that's the health part. The wellness part, I wanted to make sure that I continue to work on procrastination busters, meaning that I am finishing projects that I have not completed or tackling things that have been on the back burner for a long time and needed to be taken care of because when you have a long to-do list they basically weigh on your shoulder and you're constantly confronted with the fact that you have not done that yet and it just keeps on piling up so I wanted to spend the month of November knocking a whole bunch of those items from my list um, so how did I do this week I did very good again with regards to the eating plan I had no carbs and I had no sugar I wanted to increase vegetables this week and I actually did I ate more salads and I made a all green vegetable soup that I had for several days in a row um, what else I made sure I had vegetables every night for dinner and then the leftovers I ate and mixed them in a salad during the lunchtime so I did do that however I have zero weight loss I did lose one pound at some point uh, very early on and then for some reason I regained it and I'm exactly where I was last week so I'm still at 3.5 pounds weight loss and again for the month of November my uh, goal is five pounds, so I'm not freaking out and actually not stressing at all and I think um, That's a little bit of a change for me Usually I would really really freak out if I am I feel deprived and or I'm on a diet and I'm not losing anything I just tend to give up and this time around I was just like hey, whatever I'm still doing what I'm supposed to do and what I said I would do with regards to eating better and increasing vegetables and hydration and activities. So I'm still doing what I'm supposed to do. No weight loss, I'm okay with it. It's not a big deal to me because that's really not the whole goal for the month of November. It's an overall goal of health and wellness. So let's go dive into the planner so I can show you uh, what I tracked and what I did this week and what my plan is for next week. 
Okay, so quick recap. This is the Clever Fox planner. This is the weekly and actually Sophie has contacted me and she's sending me a daily so I'll have a video to show you the difference between the two planners and I'll probably use the daily for the month of December so again if you are new and you don't know about this planner um, you just start with all of your goals with regards to where you want to be um, this is a vision board that I created and then these are my overall goal for the year these are the goals I want to focus on as part of my health and wellness and the mind map here with regards to um, the rest of my goals. So I can already put this down. Um, this I did and I did talk to Helen, so that's good. Um, take the stairs, park away. All right, so dogs, I'm not going to check that yet because this is not the end of the month yet. Same thing for weight loss with low carb, high protein. Um, hydrate, no sugar, meal plan. All of this I can't take it yet because we're not at the end of the month. Productivity, we have procrastination busters. I'm definitely knocking those out. Three videos a week, I'm on it. Um, routine schedules, review the plan, and then bedtime, quilting times to less browsing and spiritual. I'm working on this still, so I'm not gonna mark off what I have um, you know, completed yet. So here's my monthly view. And again, I wanted to focus on bedtime habits for the month of November. I'm doing pretty good. I would say 80% so far. Uh, avoiding carbs, sugars, and time suckers. I don't know about time suckers, but definitely working on the carb and sugars. Uh, we're thinking about going to a bookstore actually today. So that's that. And um, that's it. Okay. So this was last week. And this is this week. Um, so you see, I'm still working on it. Um, I'm writing. I'm writing down my weight every single day. And you see, I had a one pound weight loss on Wednesday. And then I don't know what happened, but you know, it regained. It's mostly water. That's fine. Um, so I'm writing down everything I have to do. This is just mostly my stuff here. I'm focusing on this for the health and wellness. Um, I wanted to focus on vegetables. I did that this week. I really, really increased my vegetable and salad intake. So I'm very happy about that. However, I did not increase my activity. Matter of fact, I think my activity went down a little bit. And not that I want to make any excuse for it or whatever, but um, part of my activity is walking the dogs for at least 30 minutes every single day. And it's rained really 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 bad most of the week so I did not do that so if I compare last week I had a uh, three walk 30 and I had four extra walks for the dogs and this week I have two and a half <laughs> walk 30 and same amount of extra walks for the dogs so I am considering that this is a little bit less um, than last week because I didn't do a full 30 minutes here and I wanted to have at least five of those filled out for the walk 30 minutes and that didn't happen this week so definitely need to work on that and then I wanted to do uh, two types of exercise this week and I did not do that I just didn't have the time and you know that's that so I'm also tracking the laundry this week we've had uh, five that I've done last week I had four so I'm increasing on that uh, bedtime didn't happen on Tuesday that was election night and we stayed glued to the TV well YouTube that day so no no bedtime uh, at 10 30 Saturday neither because it was um, movie night and it was Edward's movie night and he picked death of Stalin as a movie it was kind of weird <laughs> but anyway that was his choice um, and then reading I did that four times this week so let's compare with last week, same amount for reading last week and a little bit less for bedtime. So I gotta make sure I work on that. So at the bottom here is the wins for this week. Mm -hmm. I stayed on plan and increased my veggies. I did not get um, discouraged at all with regards to the weight loss. I am not stressing the scale. I say it again, I'm not a number, but you know, I do want to lose uh, five pounds, but I'm not stressing it out. And I wrote down no stress. I am not stressing at all this week. And another win is procrastination buster. I did finish the staircase down to the basement. And if you are watching the channel regularly, you probably saw that video already. 
uh, here's how I will improve next week. I want to definitely improve activities and I want to schedule a yoga class in my community. So we'll find out um, how I do on this. And I do want to increase the fasting time between big meals, meaning that I want to have less snacks. Um, I tend to munch in my car when I'm working in the field. I always have hard boiled eggs or some um, peanut butter on celery. I always have something to nibble on and I'm trying to do less of that and have um, a longer period of time between a full meal or between full meals and definitely walk 30 minutes um, at least four times, minimally four times next week. So this is next week and again I'm writing down the things that I want to do for next week but that's not really, that's personal stuff. Uh, my main goal for next week is to increase activities and I do want to do one yoga class. So we'll see when I do my update um, next week whether or not I stuck with that. And then the priorities, of course, are going to be um, the walks, 30 minutes. I want to uh, make sure that I have less snacks. I want to make sure that I keep focusing on bedtime and reading. And I have a PCP appointment and I'm gonna put knowledge next to it because that's basically what I need to acquire when I get there is find out exactly what's going on with blood tests and whatnot. So I'm starting to uh, write down things in my to-do list. I'm gonna keep working on that um, during the week. I don't want to complete it now because it's gonna kind of waste your time. But the habits are too, um, but the habits and skills I want to track are still the same, bedtime 10.30, read 30 minutes. Um, what else do I have? I have quilt times two, I actually quilt three times this week, so I'm happy about that. I have the walk 30, extra walks for the dogs, and I have on plan, meaning staying on plan, no carb, no sugar. And the next one is going to be hydrate. So hydrate is at least minimally eight glasses a day. And I've done uh, pretty good this week. And again, the quilting, I did uh, three quilting. I actually did a video this week. So you'll get that probably um, this coming Friday. So that was kind of like a plan with me. Um, let me go here where I'm tracking my weight loss. And you can see this is last week where I had lost three and a half pounds and then I had lost another pound here. Um, I was actually at 4.5 right here. And then for some reason I regained a pound and I've stayed exactly the same up until today. So again, no stressing. I have the rest of the month to lose the five pounds. Um, I'm keeping on track with what I've said I was gonna do with regards to the carb and the sugar. So. After I talk to my doctor, we'll see what she has to say about that. So again, this is last week, the three and a half pounds that I lost, and then this week is a zero. So we'll see what happens next week. And then um, I kept writing down everything I have been eating. So this is an example of what I've been eating during the week. On Monday, I had yogurt with the raspberries, cheese and hard boiled egg. I had a salad with avocado and just cheese peanut butter and celery, and then I had pork chop and my zucchini soup for the evening. Um, I think I am reducing the amount of food I'm eating, but I'm still not there. I still have a lot of snacks. Tuesday, same thing, cheese and egg, salad with cheese and the leftover pork, and I had a little bit of soup, a um, little bit more of that pork that I have, and then I just had the soup for dinner. Um, well, you can read, right? And then increasing the vegetables, I had cauliflower, on Wednesday and I had them again on Thursday during my lunch. Um, I had salads and then Saturday, yesterday I had egg, avocado and cheese ham omelet. I had um, a cauliflower pizza that was a, uh, uh, a frozen so it was no carb and then yesterday when we went to movie night I only had a salad and I had cheese with it, I had um, brujute, 
and I had um, extra mozzarella. So that's it. That's all I had yesterday. Um, so we'll see how I do um, today. I don't plan on going out or anything. This was my to-do list for when I was off. Uh, so I knocked out a whole bunch of stuff. Actually, I did this and that. I forgot to put it in. Oh, and I did that too. Okay, so I was very busy when I was um, off on Wednesday. The only things I didn't do was clean the bathroom. I didn't fold the laundry, I only did it. Um, I only put it in the wash and Scott did the folding. Um, I did quilt and then I did make dinner. So I don't know why I didn't put that up. And then we bled the pipes for the uh, system. So um, that's the beginning of the holiday gift guide. Okay, so that's that. So I've tried to take pictures um, during the week. So this is one of the dinners that I had. You can see that I have a, um, this is a uh, zucchini soup with some Parmesan on it. And then this is cauliflower and a piece of chicken. And this is um, one of my lunches that I had um, during the week. I think this one was Monday. So you see I have um, the yogurt with a little bit of raspberry. These are two hard boiled eggs and two baby bells. And then I had some leftover pork chops that I put in into a spinach salad with some uh, bell peppers, leftover of the soup that I made. And this is some cold cuts. And here's another one. Um, I'm still taking pictures, not every day, but I just want to show you what I'm having. This is another one of those yogurt with the raspberries. This is a spinach salad. This one had no meat, this was just avocado in it. I swapped the meat for avocado with the two cheese, the two hard boiled eggs, and this was um, celery stick with some uh, peanut butter. Okay, and then instead of inserting pictures, I'm just gonna do it this way. This is my um, Fitbit. So this was Monday, 15 floors. You see, I only walked 22 minutes. I did get almost 6,500 steps, um, 2.7 miles, so not too bad. And then um, Tuesday, not that great. I did 16 floors. Wednesday, when I was off, I did 23 stairs. Uh, that's pretty good. I did my uh, 30, well, it says 29, but really it was 30 uh, minutes of walking, extra walking with the dogs, 3.5 miles, and there was 7,200 steps, so not too bad. Thursday, however, I only had 12 stairs. And again, I, I mentioned that I wanted to take the stairs instead of the elevator whenever I could, so I managed that. Um, and only 5,200 um, steps. And then Friday was even less. <laughs> I still have my 12 floors, zero minute walking, um, and only 3,700. And then yesterday, I actually removed um, my Fitbit because I needed to um, charge it so at some point it just I just stopped being able to calculate or anything uh, but the sleep I did very well you can see that the whole week except for um, Tuesday which is um, right here the night of Wednesday uh, I don't have a star because that was election night but I did pretty pretty good with regards to getting at least um, six hours or seven hours worth of sleep you can see that so I've been going to bed on time and I've been getting good sleep I'm just looking at, um, let's take, that's Friday night, let's take a regular night like Thursday to Friday. I like using the Fitbit to track my sleep pattern because you can see that I do have a period where I'm really asleep and that's um, from 12.22 to 3.35 and then I'm becoming restless and you can see the red here is when I'm awake. So the awake was at uh, 3.43 to 4.47, yeah, so that's not like the greatest time to be awake, but I enjoy watching this because it really gives me an indication of the kind of quality of sleep that I get. Um, the night of Monday to Tuesday, you can see that I was really restless there. I fell asleep relatively quick at 10.34, I was out. But then again, I woke up at 1.34 and then the rest of the night was just me tossing. Except for this part here from 2.54 to 4.40 actually. I did sleep for two hours there, but the rest is kind of like me tossing around. So I don't know, I gotta look into that, um, figure out what's going on with my sleep. So it's definitely something I'm gonna talk to my doctor when I see her on Thursday. So that's it, that's my wellness update for the second week of November. How do I feel? That's really the most important factor here. Because again, it's not about um, focusing just on the weight loss. It's the ability to really manage 
my plan and being able to do all those things I wanted to accomplish as part of the wellness plan and I have to tell you I feel really good <laughs> I really do feel good part of it is definitely because I am not um, eating carbs and sugar and I have to tell you I should have measured myself before I um, started counting the weight loss because even though I haven't lost any weight this week I can tell you that this part right here is really going down and Scott looks at me and he says hey you look like you're really still losing weight I, I don't know I'm looking at myself from the top and I have to suck in my stomach to see the number on the scale so it's a joke <laughs> but you, you know what I mean right but he's seeing it so I guess I am depuffing um, but I that's not about that it's about me making sure that I nourish myself better with more whole food type items and less junk definitely less junk um, I've had numb in two weeks basically and I feel good I feel good about finishing the staircase which reminds me I didn't show you the procrastination list um, so we're gonna do that here okay so this is still getting um, moved down finish the staircase um, and the basement paint we we'll finish that um, and then the mink was sold so that's good thank you Jenny um, and then um, what else that's it so this week actually today I'm doing the water heater um, I'm gonna do a video on that and I'm gonna show you how to empty out and purge a water tank because that's something that you should do every season in your house to get rid of the sediment at the bottom of your tank um, so I'll film that later on but that's gonna be done and then Scott finished almost finished an um, ivy on the house um, there's only a little bit on the left side but the whole chimney and the whole left side and right side of the chimney is done so he's gonna finish that today I'm happy about that the house looks much better um, but anyway just letting you know I'm feeling really really good I'm feeling good about tracking everything in this planner I'm feeling good about the motivation level that I have and seeing things getting done um, without feeling rushed I'm taking my time um, if they get done they get done but if they don't I'm not stressing it I'm not um, you know badgering myself over not being able to do the things that I said I was going to do and I managed to quilt three times this week and that made me really really happy I mean I even got and I said that before I even did a video on that so um, that's it so um, I'm looking forward to next week in particular seeing the doctor and finding out where my thyroid is and everything else um, I'm not sure what she looked at on the blood work I'm sure I'm gonna be deficient in vitamin D I'm sure my thyroid is out of whack I'm really interested in finding out what my cholesterol level is I'm gonna share all of that with you um, when we get there <laughs> next week and that's about it so yeah I'm feeling great and I think I did pretty good this week so that was my update Thank you for watching. If you are interested in the, whoop, I just whipped myself with the ribbon. Uh, if you're interested in getting your own Clever Fox Planner, I have the link down below. And again, this is a 20% off discount code. If you are purchasing it on their website, it's not valid for Amazon. And you can also check my Amazon store for all of the products I've reviewed over the years. It's all down below. Oh, and just a heads up, um, starting next week, I'm probably gonna start doing a holiday gift guide, okay? So I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.